Today in New York City, we begin with this, a special tribute uh, to a hero, New York City firefighter who dropped everything to run to help people on September 11th, 2001. The Tunnel to Towers 5K retraces the steps of Stephen Siller on that day. Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Carlo live in Red Hook, Brooklyn, where the race begins later on this morning. Anthony, good morning. Loving here. watching your reports from there. Uh, oh, thank you so much, Michelle. Good morning to you. And yeah, it's a little misty out here, but you know what? Uh, everybody comes out every year for this because it's a special cause. And that's just a testament to the dedication of so many of the runners here who brave any weather conditions to be here. And I do want to introduce you to a very special guest. I want to bring over former New York City Fire Commissioner Sal Cassano, who serves on the executive board for Tunnels to Towers Foundation. Sal, thank you so much for your time. Moments ago, we saw about 75 Gold Star and first responder families kick off this race. Talk to us about uh, really the significance of this race and how it's grown over the years. Sure. Well, as you saw, those 75 home recipients, it's a message that we send out to our families that we're never going to forget the sacrifice that they their loved ones made. So catastrophically, you know, veterans who build a smart home, first respond to children in line, do the small children, going to pay for your mortgage. And it just sends a message that when you go to work as a first responder, or you serve for in our military, if something happens to you, we're going to take care of your families. It sends a strong message out, and people from all over the country are here to recognize that. And this is about, of course, all of those lives lost on 9 11 in the terror attacks. But of course, the first responders, like Stephen Siller, whose legacy lives on. Uh, talk to us about really what goes through the mind of first responders when they think about him and his sacrifice. Well, as a first responder over 44 years in the department, we know that when you come to work, uh, your family is uh, giving up something every day you go to work. We send the message out to those families that, like Stephen, who made the supreme sacrifice, we're going to take care of you if something happens. It gives you a little more peace of mind when you go to work that your family will be taken care of if something happens to you. And in that same spirit, uh, the foundation has chosen to honor Detective Jonathan Diller this year, also a first responder killed in the line of duty unlike Steven Siller who was killed on 9-11 Diller was killed just this year uh, why why was that selection made well Jonathan was assassinated and we want to send out a, a message to his family that because of how he sacrificed with a young baby at home that they should never have to worry about a home or a mortgage and just take care of themselves and that's that's why we selected Jonathan Very good. thank you so much for your time today I really Appreciate it. Former New York City Fire Commissioner Sal Cassano serves on the Tunnel to Towers Foundation right now. Again, the mist coming down, but runners, as you see behind me, gathering here, starting the, the run. It's a 5K. You can walk, you can run, but the important thing is to make it, of course, uh, through the tunnel into Manhattan. We're live in Red Hook, Brooklyn. Anthony Carlo, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. You do a great job there at Tunnel to Towers. Thank you so much, Anthony.